What is up everyone? It is BrickLover18 here today to review set number 31122, the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Fish Tank. This set is ages 8 plus, has 352 LEGO pieces, and of course is a 3-in-1 set, meaning you can either build the fish tank, the easel, or the treasure chest. For the sake of this video, I'm only going to be reviewing the fish tank model because I feel that's what a majority of the LEGO fans are really interested to see. So, let's get right into it. I am so excited to be checking out this set today because it has been unavailable on LEGO Shop at Home for so long, so I'm finally thrilled to get this into my personal LEGO collection. For starters, right off the bat, this set is actually quite a bit smaller than I thought it might be. I looked bigger in the picture, and then when I build it, this is roughly the size of it with my hand in comparison. The set itself is pretty cool. The only thing I wish they would have done is actually had it be glass tanks and glass panels versus just the open concept that it is right here. But as you can see from the set itself it does look really cool and does look just like a fish tank as I said the only thing that would have made it better would have had it been like glass panels or something like that along the sides in the fish tank you can see that there are a bunch of different fishies and different types of fish and everything like that it looks like we've got Nemo we've got Dory and we've got a whole bunch of other uh, fishes in between it's really really cool to see this set from multiple different angles it is a fully open concept set so no matter how you look at it you'll be able to see kind of what is going on in inside the aquarium and all of the action I don't know too much about fish, of course, like I've just had a few in my past, nothing crazy, so I'm not going to be able to tell you what each and every fish is, but I'm going to show you them in a little bit more detail because I still think it's really cool. Starting on this side, we have got Nemo from obviously Finding Nemo. He's a really, really cool fish right there. Very, very neat. We've got this black and white fish right beside it, which is really, really awesome, and then this yellow fish swimming right up above. Throughout all the different plant life, you'll see that there is a Lego submarine down on the bottom. We've got this really bright pink and yellow fish, some really cool coral reefs or something like that. And then at the very top, we've even got Dory. Throughout the entire fish tank, there is so much plant life, which is really neat to see. We've just got regular seaweed to more coral, all of the stuff that I'm sure people in the comments will know the official names and stuff like that. But as I mentioned, I do not. And then more seaweed over there. It's really, really cool to see all the different designs and uh, different plant lives and actually animal lives that are in this aquarium as well. Like I said earlier, when you look at it from any side, you can just see how different everything looks. And it does look pretty incredible to see everything. It was really well, you know, really well built. Lots of really cool designs that were used here. I love how there's a variety of all the different pieces and everything like that. Every fish was a little bit different. Each fish is also a very different height. Some of them are on platforms like raised platforms that are clear, you can't really see them. Others are more sitting on the ground or just on a few bricks. Uh, so it's really, really cool because obviously if all the fish were at the same height, the set wouldn't look nearly as cool. But because there is so much different height and depth to it, when you look at it from afar, this fish tank looks really awesome. This is what it looks like from an overhead view as well. There's so much action going on in the tank. It is very, very full. And I just, I, I do think it would have been really cool to have the glass panels on each of the side to make it look like an actual aquarium. Obviously, this is a Lego set. It wouldn't have been able to hold water or anything like that. But just having that capability, I think, would have been really neat and would have, you know, taken this set definitely to the next level. You know, I recently had a 10 gallon fish tank in my apartment that actually had a real fish in it and then more recently it passed away so I had to take the 10 gallon tank out. I originally thought maybe I'd put this Lego tank kind of in its place to take out that old table where it used to be and then I built this and I was like, oh my god, that is way, way smaller than I thought it would be. I already showed you the comparison earlier with my hand but this set is very, very tiny. It When you see the box, you're like, oh yeah, that's a lot smaller than it would kind of look like but I originally in person, you know, seeing this and shop at home and stuff like that, I was like, well, that's a definitely a bigger set, but it is not. Overall, I still think it's really cool. I mean, if you're a parent out there and your kids are begging for fish, maybe this is the perfect set to give them because you don't have to feed it, you don't have to clean the tank, and it still looks awesome on your bookshelf. And it's got a couple different fish instead of just one. I'm pretty impressed with this set. I have been trying to get it for months and months and months now, but it was just sold out on Lego Shop at home and it was very hard to get. And as soon as it came back in stock, I did not hesitate and I actually picked this one up. All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking out today's review of set number 31122, the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Fish Tank. I thoroughly enjoyed building this model and reviewing it for you guys today. 
Overall, I think LEGO did a really great job, and there's a reason that this set was sold out for so many months. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And of course, stay tuned to my channel for more future LEGO videos coming shortly. Always new videos all the time. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'll see you here in the next video.